Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a St. Patrick's Day pusheen. So let's get started. To draw this cute tabby cat, let's first start by drawing the top of her head. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to draw a soft curve that comes slightly downwards. It's going to slant it downwards. So that's going to be the top of her head. And it's slanted downwards because her head is at a tilt. So from here, at this point right here, I'm going to go up for her ear and soften the edge, tip, and come down. So same thing on this side. And come down. So we have the top of Pusheen's head in. And then I'm just going to bring this down a bit more. I'm going to round this part off. And on this side, I'm going to slant it in a little bit. And that's the difference between the two sides. So then from there, let's come to the top right here and we're going to draw the three stripes on top of her head. So it's just kind of three U's and then one right in the center. There. And then I'm going to use this as my center point right here and I'm going to come straight down. So at an angle, say about right here, just give myself a point. And using the same angle, I'm going to come down and draw two curves that come out. So this is pushing to mouth and nose area. And then right in the center right here, I'm just going to add a curve for her mouth. And then I'm going to come to the side and draw a circle for her eyes. And same thing on this side. So everything is at a slant. So if you need to tilt your paper, definitely do that if it's easier for you to draw. And then I'm going to come in here, just give it a tiny little highlight and then shade the rest of it in. There. Okay, so then from there we can go ahead. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me come up here since we're here and I'm going to draw the hat. So I'm just going to come right in the center in this area and draw two curves on top. And I'm going to follow the top of her head and draw a line. And then from this line, I'm going to go up an angle and go ahead and connect it. So this St. Patrick's Day hat. And then right in the center, I'm going to add a band. And then inside this band, I'm going to add a little buckle to finish it off for some details there. Okay, so then from there, let's start to bring in all the um, details right here. So I'm just going to bring this down. From there, let's come in this area right here and I'm going to pop out a little hand for her. But if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this curve. So about right here, I'm going to come in and just pop out a little curve for her hand and bring it in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue this curve through and on this side. So I'm just going to go back and forth so it's a little bit easier for me to see. And so on this side, I'm just going to start to round it off and just go back and forth. See how long you want to make your pusheen. And I'm just going to keep bringing this around. And on this right here, we're just going to make it a little bit rounder for her back. And then in this area, we can start to bring it in. So back and forth. Now we're going to round it off, kind of this little pear shape. And then about right here underneath this eye, so in this area, about right there, I'm going to pop out her foot. So it's just got a little curve that comes out and back in. And then I'm going to continue this curve now all the way through as if I'm continuing back to that. And about right there, I'm going to stop and pop pop out another foot. So this foot is kind of more at a slant because it's kind of like she has, she's putting one foot up because she's really happy. <laughs> and curve in. And then you can go ahead and finish up the curve. There. 
So pushing is going la la la, right? <laughs> All right. So then from there, let's come and draw the other hand. So right under this eye at the same slant. So just kind of find your angle and then this eye about right here. I'm going to pop out the other hand. So right here, same thing, just a curve that comes out and back in. And then now that we have that in, let's come and draw the whiskers before I forget. So right at the same angle about right here, I'm going to pop out two curves. And then on this side, same thing. So see about right here. Two curves and then the stripes on the back. Two curves right here and her tail. So say about right here. I'm just going to pop in a little curve Oops. and curve it around and bring it back in. I'm just going to add in the stripes and one. There. Okay, so that is pretty much done for Pusheen. Now to give her a scenery so that we can celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So um, right here, I'm just going to add some clovers because she is running through a field of clover. So there's going to be some clovers that are just jumping up, <laughs> popping up. So just give a little stem and to draw a very simplified clover, let's come in here and draw three curves that are connected. And a nice round one that comes back in. So I'm just going to draw another one at a different angle right here. Same idea. Just adding three curves that come together. One on this side. So I want to thank you guys for all your love from all my Pusheen drawings. If you love Pusheen, I've drawn so many. <laughs> Please make sure to check out my Pusheen's playlist. Okay, so then from there, um, let's come to the bottom right here and let's draw some greens and some grass for Pusheen right here. And then let's stick some clovers, of course. So same thing. Uh, maybe one kind of tucked in the back right here behind that one. It's all up to you. Have fun with this. And it all depends on how many clovers you want to draw, of course. And then this side. So maybe one here. So maybe on this one, I'll draw four leaf clover. So it's just the same thing. Um, but we're going to have to tuck in four of them. four curves together. There. And um, let's see if we add more. One more. Okay, so I'm just going to add one more right here. And then we're done. <laughs> So there. Hope you love this cute little Pusheen that's celebrating St. Patrick's Day and I hope it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.